Oh, alrighty then. Uh, actually, let's see if there's any... Let's see if there's any scenes. Being able to fuse equipment at the shop is really convenient to help prep for battle. Yes. It's amazing how even among humans, there are those who can extract the full potential of certain equipment like the Divine Artifact. Plus, it looks like we can fuse unneeded equipment together to breathe new use into them. I have some experience with this sort of thing as well, although it may take time to get used to it again. Wow! Will I be able to do it someday? For those that don't possess the required innate qualities, I've heard that it feels like their nerve cells are getting sliced from the back of their heads. Oh. Um... Really? So, I, I guess I've been missing out on a lot of shit by not actually sleeping at inns regularly. Build up fusion points over time and use them to fuse equipment of the same name. Raise level to bo boost fusion points. Set up multiple characters to share points. Hmm. Well, I guess I've just been missing out on a whole bunch of shit. I mean, then again, how am I supposed to know that people are going to learn new talents and things by sleeping at the fucking inn? Oh, hey, sleeping at the inn removed my holy bottle. Also, you out. You... Mm. Oh, yeah, I should probably use the... Toughened up a bit yourself. Yes, I've been undergoing intensive training under Lady Maltran. Oh, I see. To get you ready to hyper slice your way through the field of battle. Well, I mean, I suppose at least they gave a explanation as to how she hit, you know, leveled up to whatever level she is at. It's like, wow, you're level 61 as well. How, how'd you get there? Oh, I've been hitting wooden dummies with a fucking stick. Oh. I should have. I didn't know I was going to encounter her here. So, you finally figured out who I really am. Why? For the ideals I cherish most. Now, messenger, the royal order, if you please. We have a war to start. Uh. Then I'll take it by force. This way. Too many prying eyes out here. What? I'm going to despawn behind this bush. Well, 
Oh, did she go into the ruins? I guess. I'm gonna hit the save point up before I do that, cause, you know, don't know, get my fucking ass kicked or something. I mean, she did steal the mithril sword of bullshit. If she's smart, she'll use the mithril sword of bullshit to defeat me. Because it verily indeed is the mithril sword of bullshit. How? How could she? She's a bitch. Alicia. Lila, what type of Hellion is Maltran? I... I honestly cannot tell you for sure. So all we know is she's one to watch out for, huh? A strong, sexy lady. I'm not seeing the downsides myself. The more boob that is shown, the more evil there is, apparently. That's how it works in JRPG land. It's like, well, I could get lost in this cleavage. Definitely evil. I don't know, she's got a spear. Let's be quick about this. I have other work to attend to. Why, Lady Maltran, why? You are disgracefully slow to catch on. What you see before you is reality and truth. One who cannot accept reality for what it is has no hope of being a leader to the people. I acknowledge my lack of resolve, but... Then you should have realized by now that your naive ideals have no meaning whatsoever in this present state of affairs. Not to the kingdom, not to the citizenry, certainly not to me. Then... then why did you act so encouraging and supportive to me all this time? Because you served two vital functions. One of which was your utility in getting Highland and Rollins to finally clash with their full military might. Your incessant whining was just the thing to provoke Bartlow and the others to action. Uh, uh... Alicia's ideals do hold meaning and value. That's right. Saray believes in her, even if you don't. And he isn't the only one. I'm giving my dear pupil her final lesson. Kindly stay out of this. What, you can't deal with reality and truth? So many empty words. Who's slow to catch on now? A fair point. No need to exchange words when blows will suffice. For your other vital function. Stand back, Alicia! All right. Gotta love the extra dimensional pockets that everybody has. I can do this. All right, what we got? You don't give two fucks about water, and they stuck Mikaleo back in the fucking party. Fireworks and wind works. So Mikaleo, stop being a fucking. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. I can't tell. She's a hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. Here goes! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! 
Ow. Purify me. What truly needs purification is this entire world. Please, Lady Maltran, stop! <sighs> you are just being deceived by the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> You're soft to the core, aren't you? Of all your flaws, that might be. What I hate about you the most. <gasps> this is reality, Alicia. Huh. She blood I've proven bowl. my dedication to my lord. I have no regrets. Oh, who's hungry? Oh. Hey, an HP up. Just like you, in a lot of ways. The strength of a knight exists to protect. Their kindness serves the people. Lady Maltran's words still linger in my ears. I know she undoubtedly meant nothing by it, just some pretty nonsense to lead me on. I need to take that hat off. Maybe, but even if she did. You took those words to heart, didn't you? The clippage. And the Alicia standing right here is as real as it gets. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this side of my reality. Let me see what I can do about the Highland army. I'm naive and soft and whiny enough to think it'll work. 
That's just who I am. Young folks, always with the melodrama. <laughs> Sorry about that. What? Are you crying too? It's so beautiful. You say something? Nothing. Nothing. Do you think Sergei will be able to stop the Roland's army? It'll be all right. Sergei will do it no matter the cost. That just makes me worry even more. The vanguard of the Roland's army is probably at last in Bell by now. Why don't we go check it out? I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything unwise. Why is there for that at all? If it bugs you that much, why don't you go to Pendrago? So we are going to, yeah, we are going to wind up doing all the objectives. Hey, maybe we can get, like, Sergei in the party and, you know, have him as, like, Squire number three. Be like, oh, Sergei, let's go rock everyone's shit. Of course, he'd probably spend more time, go like, having a senpai crush on the shepherd. Oh, damn. Uh... Enter Pendrago entrance. Let's go get Rose's stuff out of the way and then we'll worry about Sergey. Besides, I kind of want to stab Foxy Brown in the fucking face. Oh wait, hold on. You get out of here. Look, another one. That's number five. What happened? Didn't you hear? Every night lately, someone raids one of the nobles' mansions. Man. Funny sort of burglar, too. They leave one of those notes around every time they pull off a heist. Which will last longer, I wonder? Your avoidance of me, Lenar, or the coffers of... Hmm. And then they tossed the stolen money all over the streets. If only we'd gotten here a bit earlier, we could have snatched some of it. Who would want the rotten charity of a thief anyway? I'm really worried about Rose. But there's nothing we can do right now. Any move she makes is bound to be under the cover of night. Let's wait until dark. Well, actually, shit, it's getting kind of late and I have a raid in a few hours, so kind of need to get these things started processing, so I will catch you guys all later. But anyway, adios. We'll hunt down Rose late next time.